it's time to get an alligator piece going. I'm getting ready for my first art show of 2024. And I have shown here before, my first art show was there last year actually. And all of my current pieces I made for the last art show. So I want to add one more piece to it. Nothing too, too big because I already have a few pieces that I haven't moved yet. But I do want to add some more fun and texture to my wall. I'm going to be making something with this wood panel that I already prepped a little bit. And just wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. But I knew I wanted something fun and kind of 3D texture-like. So we're going to be doing something alligator related. And I'm not quite sure what yet, but alligators are some of my favorites and I haven't really done anything alligator in my style yet. So I'm like, it's time. It's time to get an alligator piece going. That's what we're doing today. Normally I go straight to Pinterest to look up references, but today I do actually have a reference that I could use in person. I got an alligator head here. So I'm going to be using that to help me draw some of my references, but I'm still going to be going through Pinterest. Normally I do it on my phone, but I'm using my phone to record right now because I cannot find, I'm a hot mess. I can't find my batteries for my camera. So we're only using my phone today. So let's get started. <laughs> I just realized the angle that I chose to draw the alligator at is not one that's going to work well with drawing in like a third eye like I normally do or even like horns like I normally do. I'm going to figure it out. I want to do deer horns because this kind of reminds me of where deer horns come out of but there's not enough space in the circle for that. So I'm going to let this dry now and go eat some dinner and be back. tonight I think but so far I'm happy with her 